Steel, a material forged in fire shaped by human ingenuity and trusted for its strength. It has built civilizations, armed warriors, and enabled the finest tools of precision. From the razor-sharp blades of ancient blacksmiths to the high-tech alloys of today, steel has remained a symbol of resilience, yet even the finest steel succumbs to time. A once razor-sharp edge, honed to perfection, eventually dulls. Cuts become less precise, effort increases, and what was once an effortless glide through material becomes a struggle. It is a paradox. Why must knives be regularly sharpened if steel is so strong? The answer lies in the very nature of sharpness itself, the forces acting upon the blade, and the microscopic battles waged at the cutting edge. And we're about to uncover it, right here on History of Simple Things. To answer this, we must first understand what makes a knife sharp in the first place. A blade's sharpness is determined by the geometry of its edge, an incredibly fine ridge where two beveled surfaces meet at an acute angle. This thin honed edge allows a knife to cut cleanly and efficiently with minimal resistance. However, the very feature that makes a knife effective is also what makes it vulnerable. The finer the edge, the more delicate it is, and the more susceptible it becomes to deformation. Each time a knife makes contact with a surface, whether slicing through meat, dicing vegetables, or cutting fibrous material, it undergoes microscopic stress. Over time, this stress causes the edge to roll, bend, or break down, dulling the blade. One of the most common ways a blade loses its sharpness is through edge rolling. Unlike what some might assume, a dull knife isn't necessarily one that has lost metal. Instead, the fine cutting edge may have simply been displaced. When slicing through tough materials, the extreme pressure causes the delicate edge to flex and fold over. This is particularly common in softer steels, which are more ductile and prone to deformation. Though a rolled edge may not be visible to the naked eye, its effects are clear. Slicing becomes less efficient, requiring more force. Fortunately, a rolled edge can often be restored through honing. A honing rod realigns the bent metal, temporarily restoring sharpness without actually removing material. But edge rolling is only part of the story. Over time, the knife's edge also experiences abrasion, a slow, inevitable process where repeated use gradually wears away steel at a microscopic level. Every cut removes tiny fragments of metal from the blade, even when slicing through seemingly soft materials like bread or fruit. Harder substances, such as bones, cutting boards, and fibrous vegetables, accelerate this wear. As the edge becomes progressively rounded, it loses its ability to slice cleanly. Unlike rolling, which can be corrected with honing, abrasion requires sharpening. This process removes worn metal and reshapes the edge, restoring its original precision. Adding to the wear and tear is corrosion. While stainless steel blades are designed to resist rust, no steel is completely immune to moisture, acids, and oxidation. Each time a knife is exposed to water, acidic foods like citrus or tomatoes, or even humidity in the air, tiny pits can form along its surface. These imperfections weaken the structural integrity of the edge, making it more prone to chipping and dulling. High carbon steel knives prized for their sharpness, are particularly susceptible to corrosion if not properly maintained. A single knife left wet or improperly stored can develop oxidation that speeds up dulling. Proper care, such as drying immediately after washing and occasionally oiling high carbon blades, helps slow this process but cannot stop it entirely. Beyond chemical and mechanical wear, impact stress is another major contributor to dulling. A knife's edge is incredibly fine, making it vulnerable to sudden forces. Striking a hard surface, whether a bone, a frozen ingredient, or a ceramic plate, can cause microscopic chips to form along the edge. These tiny fractures accumulate over time, making the blade feel duller with each use. Harder steels, while capable of holding an edge longer, are often more brittle and prone to chipping. Softer steels, on the other hand, may roll instead of chip, 
making them easier to maintain but requiring more frequent honing. This is why different knives use different steels. Chef's knives require sharpness and precision, while cleavers and survival knives prioritize durability. The type of steel used in a blade significantly impacts how quickly it dulls. Not all steels are created equal. Each alloy contains a unique mix of elements that influence hardness, toughness, and wear resistance. High carbon steels hold an exceptionally sharp edge, but require careful maintenance. Stainless steels resist rust better, but may not retain their sharpness as long. Advanced powder metallurgy steels used in high-end knives balance hardness and durability to extend sharpness. Despite these advancements, no knife remains sharp forever. Even the best steel eventually succumbs to wear and tear, requiring regular sharpening to maintain performance. Sharpening a knife is not just about restoring its cutting ability, it is a precise process that reshapes the blade at a microscopic level. As the edge dulls over time, sharpening removes a thin layer of steel, exposing a fresh, refined cutting surface. This is done using abrasives like whetstones, diamond stones, or ceramic rods, which grind away worn metal and recreate a keen edge. Many mistake honing for sharpening, but while honing realigns a displaced edge, sharpening is the only way to restore sharpness once the edge has worn down. Proper knife maintenance can significantly extend a blade's sharpness. Storing knives correctly, using appropriate cutting surfaces, and applying minimal force while cutting all help slow the dulling process. Professional chefs often sharpen their knives weekly, while home cooks may do so every few months. Outdoor knives, survival blades, and tactical knives require sharpening schedules tailored to their environments, ensuring they remain reliable when needed most. A sharper edge not only improves cutting efficiency, but also reduces strain on both the knife and the user. Ultimately, the need to sharpen a knife is not a flaw of steel, but a natural consequence of physics and material science. The sharpness of a blade is not a permanent feature, it is a cycle of use, wear, and renewal. Steel may be strong, but its strength does not make it immune to friction, stress, or microscopic degradation. Understanding why knives dull helps us appreciate the craftsmanship behind both making and maintaining a fine blade. Whether in the hands of a professional chef, an artisan, or an everyday home cook, a well-sharpened knife is more than just a tool. It is a masterpiece of metallurgy and precision, always in need of care, but forever essential. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.